On April the 9th, the Brazilian Biotech Committee is likely to take a rather momentous decision about whether to commercialise or release commercially genetically engineered eucalyptus. They should have done this on the 5th of March. That was the last appointment they had. But on that occasion, La Via Campesina, the largest peasant organisation in the world, took over the space where they were to have the meeting and prevented it from going ahead. This time that may not happen because La Via Campesina has many other things that it needs to be working on. So we need, as international organisations and people who are concerned about genetically engineered trees and crops, we need to take action on this occasion and make our feelings known, our opinions about these clear to Brazil. Now the thing is that genetically engineered eucalyptus is a plantation tree. And plantation trees are already causing major problems in Brazil. There are millions of hectares of them. And they have been established for some time, these plantations of eucalyptus. Now they're important for one thing, that is the production of honey uh, for uh, markets all over the place. But they actually have had serious effects on local communities, preventing them from being able to produce their own food, having an impact on agrarian reform, and closing in basically on communities so that they don't have access to, their, to land that they used to have access to. So they're already a major problem, and they would become much more of one if these genetically engineered trees were released. This is because basically these trees are engineered to grow faster and be more productive, therefore. Now this means that if they were to go ahead, they'd be commercially very attractive. And for several years, they would doubtless expand rapidly all over the place. It might be that after that, we would understand that there were some serious impacts from them and downsides and things might change. But the immediate future, if they are commercialized, is for a rapid further expansion of, genetically, of, of eucalyptus plantations that are now genetically engineered. Now, the eucalyptus plantations already have serious impacts on water. They're very greedy for water. They also are a big fire hazard, and this means that um, the fires burn very hot and they will rapidly spread to other areas. Um, another thing is that eucalyptus are an invasive alien species already. Genetically engineered eucalyptus, engineered to grow faster, could be an invasive species on a completely new level of threat. And this is a very serious issue indeed for Brazil, which already, like every other country in the world, has serious problems with um, invasive alien species. Now, trees are complex genomes. They're very long-lived. They are hard to understand. There's a great deal that we don't understand about them. We only know that plantations are much simpler than forests. But it would be very, very difficult to test these eucalyptus, these genetically engineered eucalyptus, adequately. And one of the accusations against the um, Biotechnology Committee is that they haven't done enough trials or tests or investigations to find out what would really, really happen. One of the problems is we don't even really know what questions to ask because we don't fully understand about tree genomes and all the issues connected with them. So the point is that this would be extremely difficult to test anyway and the precautionary principle as put forward by the Convention on Biological Diversity makes it really clear that we shouldn't take this risk until we understand something, uh, some, of this, some of these issues better. We should not take this risk. Now, one of the organizations that makes this very clear, as I said, is the Convention on Biological Diversity. And they have said that any country thinking of doing this, and Brazil is a signatory, should carry out these exhaustive tests, both in greenhouses and outside them. And really, Brazil needs to fulfill its commitments to the Convention on Biological Diversity. But it also needs to fulfill its commitments to everybody, to indigenous people, to local communities, to the, to the international community, and to the environment of Brazil, which is already profoundly threatened and which does not need millions of hectares of monoculture, eucalyptus, tree plantations, genetically engineered to grow faster.